Hey everybody, what's going on? This is a little video just in case maybe you've never driven a Tesla, ridden in a Tesla, wonder what it's like in a Tesla. What's the full self-driving like? Does it really drive itself? Well, I'm in a 2018 Tesla Model S. Um, it's got older hardware. They're on hardware four now, just to give you a reference point. They're looking into hardware five. So if you went and bought a brand new Tesla, you're gonna get hardware four which has all the bells and whistles. I've got hardware three, which has some of the bells and whistles. It's got full self-driving. I've got my great big screen here in the middle. This is one of the things I really liked about the Model S, the older Model S's at least, is that it had the screen embedded in the dash. So it doesn't just stick out looking like an iPad that's mounted on the dash. It's actually integrated into the dash. And this is a full functional map and I've got my waypoint navigating to a show that I'm headed to right now in Denton. Um, so right now I'm driving the car myself. Like I'm human driving the car, if you will. It's not robot driving yet. It's not on full self driving yet. I'm driving the vehicle. Um, I've got my hand on the wheel down here. Like I usually drive with my hand on the wheel down here. On my dash, I have a screen. This is another thing I liked about the Tesla Model S is that I have a screen right here which I'm used to from traditional cars, vehicles is having a screen right here in the, in the dash, right in front of my steering wheel that can tell me my speed, how much energy I'm using at the moment, um, how many miles I have to go with this charge. So I have 177 miles that I can still go, what the temperature is outside. Um, a little bitty map on the left that kind of shows the route that I'm taking. And in the middle, I don't know if you can see it or not on the video, but it shows me my speed, and it shows me a graphical representation of what the cameras see. It'll show vehicles, it'll show lanes, it'll show stop signs, stop lights. Now I have hardware three, I'm running version 12 of full self driving. Right now they're about to launch version 14. But here's the thing, and if you're looking into getting a Tesla, man, you gotta do some research. If you're getting a used one, especially. If you're getting a brand new one, hey, go knock it out. It'll have everything. You don't have to worry about any of this. But hardware three can only so far support version 12 of full self-driving. They're about to release version 14 for all of the newer vehicles. Elon says that they're working on some kind of way for the older vehicles to support it, but that remains to be seen. So let's get down to it. What's full self-driving like? Well, to engage full self-driving, all I've got to do is pull one of these levers on my uh, steering column. So let's go ahead and do that. And boom, we're in full self-driving now. I can take my hands off the wheel. The car is going to navigate itself and it's going to do that noise every once in a while and give me a little graphic that makes sure that I'm paying attention. Now, newer model Teslas will have a camera in the cabin that literally watches you to make sure that your eyes are on the road. If you look out the window for a few seconds, it'll give you a warning. If you start looking at your phone, it'll give you a warning. Me, I don't have a camera in the cabin. I got an older car. So what does it do? Every so often it tells me, hey, it's doing it right now. Apply a little force to the steering wheel so I know you're paying attention, Andy. All right, so you do. If you don't, you get a strikeout in and it way, stops the, the full self-driving. Right so if you don't wheel. jiggle the wheel every once in a while or if you're looking at your phone in a newer model car, it's gonna give you a strikeout. If you get three of those, full self-driving is disabled for a little bit, like a week or two or something like that. Not a big, not the biggest deal, but basically pay attention. This is not, this is monitored, supervised, full self-driving, I guess is what they call it. But so far, so good. I mean, it's doing everything on its own, that from braking to accelerating to turning the wheel. This is, remember, version, four, uh, version 12 on a 2018 Tesla Model S using hardware three. Okay, now I'm not gonna brake I've got my foot on the brake. I've got my hand by the wheel, you know, ready in case anything goes sideways, but I'm getting used to it. I'm, you know, there is a there is a period of apprehension, of anxiety, of if the car is really gonna do what it's supposed to do. Now it automatically turns on the blinker. And now we're getting off 377 onto 380, which is kind of a hairy entrance ramp, to be honest with you. Like this exit ramp's not bad. But you'll notice it's, it's telling me, hey, make sure you're paying attention. I'm paying attention. All right, so here we go. 
I'm not steering it. I just have my hand on the wheel just in case, but no one's coming. But it turns on the blinker. It gets over, right? I'm not doing any of this. It's doing all of this on its own. Robot driving now, not human driving. And it looks like we're coming up to a stoplight maybe. So it's going to stop at the stoplight. Oh, it's actually, we're changing lanes here. Okay, so we're gonna change lanes. And we're gonna change lanes one more time. And it's asking me to shake the wheel, so I'm gonna do that. And we are in what's called hurry mode. I'm gonna set that to standard. It has three different modes, chill out mode, hurry mode, and standard. Well, chill out, standard, and hurry. If you put it in hurry mode, it'll do a lot of lane changing like that. And honestly, it kind of cuts people off. And I don't know if it's a good argument to say, hey, it wasn't me, it's my robot car. You know, if people get upset. <laughs> so I, I'd like to put it in standard in most cases and just, or maybe even chill so that it's not changing lanes so much because if you put it in hurry mode, it will aggressively change lanes and try to find you the best, best path. Now, I don't know if you can see my dash or not. I used to have hardware 2.5 and it showed a representation of the road, a very basic one. It would show a couple of cars, it would not show street, light, uh, street lights and stop signs and all that business. But now with hardware version three that I just got installed the other day, it shows me a representation of not only the road that I'm on, but also the road over there, the oncoming lanes on 380 here. I'm going across a bridge on a lake. And I can see a graphic representation as those cars are coming across on the dash here. Not only can I see the vehicles all in front of me, along with a blue line to let me know kind of the path that we're taking. But yeah, I mean, the only thing I've done during this drive since it's been driving itself, honestly, is accelerate a tiny bit after we got in the other lane back there because we kind of cut someone off. So I wanted to accelerate a little bit just to give them some more space. And uh, yeah, other than that, I haven't had to steer I haven't had to brake. It does let me know to apply force to the steering wheel every so often. But this is version 12 of full self-driving in a 2018 Tesla Model S with hardware version 3. Once again, they're on hardware 4 now. They're about to be in hardware 5. Full self-driving or autonomous driving for vehicles is still honestly in its infancy. It's still a a very new technology in the grand scheme of things. It's been around for roughly 10 years they've been working on it. And I know this may sound like a lot, but where is this going to be in 20 years? Right? It, and time flies. Time really flies. Where will it be in another... Things are exponential. Where will it be in another 10 years, even? You know, if we can't think far enough to 20 years, well, where will it be? You know, wait, wait till hardware 10. And full self-driving version 25 comes out. All right, so we're changing lanes again. This car has, I think, eight cameras on it. So it's got eyes in, in the back of its head that I don't. <laughs> I got mirrors that I can use, but it's got much better view than what I do. Now, when it's changing lanes, I still look around just to make sure that everything's clear and we're not about to run someone off the road. But that hasn't happened yet. The worst is that it... Um, cuts people off. Now, when I was running on hardware 2.5, I, you can't get full self-driving on hardware 2.5. The best you had was, um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like, it would do cruise control. It would stay ahead of, you know, behind this car and get close enough to him and stuff. And it would keep a speed or um, it would even stop behind people and it would stay in the lane but it would sometimes get very confused on hardware 2.5 when a turn lane came up like this one. And it would try to switch lanes and then come back over. It was just iffy in certain spots. All of that has gone away since I've upgraded my hardware to 3.0, hardware three. So once again, Tesla Model S 2018. If you're looking for a used Tesla, um, I would recommend getting a used one because they are just so much more affordable than a brand new one. Now, if you want all of the latest features and you want all of the latest full self-driving capabilities, go for a brand new one, go knock it out. They're great cars. They have um, 
a summon feature that will basically bring the car, the car will drive to you in a parking lot. Mine's got a basic version of that, but it's not so good. <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> it's not the best. I, I am envious of Hardware 4. And um, I do look forward one day to paying this vehicle off and getting a trading it in on another uh, more modern Tesla with all of those features. But yeah, it's still driving itself. It stopped behind this car. I haven't had to intervene with anything dangerous. So just in case anybody's wondering, does full self-driving really work in a Tesla? I think it's a sham. Well, here we are. And this is in city driving. When I use full self-driving, to be honest with you, the, the, the time I use full self-driving, because I like driving this car. I love driving this car. This, these Teslas, they've got, they're fast. They can accelerate really fast, get you out of situations pretty quick. Um, so I like driving in the city, but on the highways is where I really turn on full self-driving just to kind of, oh, it thought about changing lane. Yeah, it's going to do it. I said, yeah, might as well. Might as well change the lane. On the highways is where I mainly use it just so I can chill, not have to stress. The car basically stays within the lanes. I'm headed, you know, to a show an hour away. Um, you, you can check your phone. I was like, where's my phone? It's right here recording. You can check your phone, you know, keep your eyes on the road, make sure everything's cool. But for the most part, the car's kind of got it. I mean, we're still self-driving. No hands, mom. I do need to, there it goes again. So I, it looks like about every minute or two, it bugs me and says, hey, just to make sure you're there. Now that's a safety feature, all right? They wanted to make sure that we're paying attention while the car's driving itself. So it does nag you every so often to turn the steering wheel. And if you have a camera in your car with the latest models, it'll sit there and watch you and make sure your eyes are on the road. And um, yeah, now in version 14, that nag features about, is supposed to um, kind of uh, not be so overt. It's, it's not supposed to nag as much, they said. But once again, from what I've seen, hardware three, which is what I've got, can't doesn't support hard, um, full self-driving version 14. Their, uh, hardware four is on full self-driving version. Oh, I thought about doing a lane change. I said, never mind. No, that's okay. I'm going to put it on chill mode. Let's just chill. Um, hardware four, newer cars. They're on full self-driving 13 right now. And I mean, this month, they're going to get 14. And I'm, we're still, hardware three drivers are still on version 12, which again, it's not a slouch. It doesn't have all of the bells and whistles, but it's very competent. So if anybody's wondering, just to wrap this up, what's it like full self-driving in a Tesla? This is what it's like. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Andy. I'm headed to a show.